This is Let's Talk Ferrilla. And as always, this episode is brought to you by Hydra Affirmations. Remember, it's game time. Grind and mentally examine the inner me extensively, and you can purchase these bottles at hydroaffirmations.com. So, once again, like I always like to present before my episodes, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a guide podcast or I'm like a guru or something, or I'm trying to make you guys live like a different type of lifestyle because I got to figure it out and I'm a millionaire. I'm not. I still got a blue collar job. I just sell water bottles with my wife. I do logos on the side and I like to day trade for fun. That is where I am right now in life. So all I'm doing is everything that helped me go from being toxic, down low, down bad, fucking insecure about myself in the past. I got through my trials and tribulations from books and podcasts just and shit honestly even conversations and shit paying money to have meetings with people to have certain perspective shifting like conversations that I never knew could be possible for somebody that comes from where we come from but rather than sit and dwell that damn I was dealt a bad hand now I'm in a state of understanding that you know what if I wasn't given the right circumstances then I'm just going to go out there and create my own circumstances. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about one book that I love in particular. If you guys are bookies and you read books, cool. I'm not a book reader. I'm extremely busy in the morning. I'm busy at work. What I like to do is audiobook. If you guys are audiobookers, fuck yeah. You guys are legends. For you people who are like, hey, you know what? I've been thinking about getting into audiobook, but I've never done it yet. Think about Audible as like what you go to college to go in a classroom to sit in a class and be lectured by a professor to be in a room to have a to have access to a conversation that no other that not a lot of people get to have. And the way that I treat podcasts and audiobooks is pretty much me having a conversation with somebody that I would never get to meet. And just like conversation and learning information and gaining any type of knowledge that makes you better as an individual, all that comes from within you having the willingness to go out there and digest some of the information that you find out there and and put that on your life. Because all too many of us don't realize that you only know what you're taught. The amount of information all of us have is information accumulated from some of our own research or research that somebody else told us that we deemed actual real information. When in reality, you only are you only like the only truth to you is the truth that you choose to believe in. So one when it comes to books and audio books, it is really an eye opener. Like, you know what? I've never had anybody tell me this, these types of conversations. I've never had anybody talk to me in these kind of ways. So let me interpret that into my life because obviously the path that I'm on and the information that I have has gotten me up to the point where I feel like I am starting to turn the wheel on what it means to actually be able to accumulate like real wealth and real knowledge and real opportunity. So some of these books really help me push my perspective on those things. And the first book I'm going to tell you guys today about is this one right here. The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. Can you see it right here? Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. So on here on my iPad, if you guys have been following along with the episodes, I like to keep all my ideas together because if you know me, I'm one of those people who will get on a rant and then I'll start to get different ideas and I have to. And then I don't know, like, I don't know how to really structure my shit if I'm just ranting about something that I really care about or something that's passionate to me it's hard for me to like structure my ideas. So taking notes, annotating notes, creating a whole bunch of what I know, what I learned and how I interpreted it. But then obviously I have to be devil's advocate and 
ask questions like, okay, if this is a statement I'm going to make, how would I answer those questions? So all I'm doing on here is just referencing all the notes I took. I'll stop periodically, break down what I wrote. And that's how I keep the show in order for you guys. If you see me look over periodically, that is because I'm looking at the iPad just to reference some of my notes. So this book is a book that if you're in a situation in life where you're like, damn, I need something to change. Damn, I really need like that push, that motivation to get me to like having a better day every single day. Just loving myself and loving who I am as an individual. Please, please, please read The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. I am not sponsored by this dude. I am not getting paid at all. This book helped push my perspective and really put me on a journey of self-growth and a whole bunch of other titles by different authors. But this book is based on Miguel Ruiz's Toltec Wisdom and he is a renowned spiritual teacher and a shaman who comes from a family of healers in Mexico. He was drawn, he was born from, he was drawn from his Toltec heritage to offer practical and profound insights into human behavior and the nature of reality. The Four Agreements is one of the most famous works and it has touched lives of so many people, including myself around the world. And I first heard about this book just honestly, you guys know how the world is now. You ever been in a situation where you just say something and then you go into your phone and all of a sudden what you just said is right then and there in your phone? Well, in this particular situation, that's what happened. I was talking to my wife about, you know what? I need a self-growth book. I need something to really help push my mind into new opportunity. Like just really help. You know what? Maybe it is all my fault. Maybe I do need a change. Maybe I do need to like really just like fuck me up and like change me around. Like, hey, buddy, you're going the wrong way. How about you go that way? This book is definitely one of the works that did that for me. And what are the four agreements? If you've seen my last video shit, if you've seen my first video, I told you that I live by the four agreements on a daily basis. The four agreements are be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. Each agreement represents a principle for living a more fulfilling and authentic life. In this book, The Four Agreements, they describe these agreements as if you master one, two, and three, and four that I just said, this is how you experience heaven on earth. This is how you experience a blissful life if you can live by these four agreements on a daily basis, on a daily schedule. Each agreement represents a principle for living a more fulfilling and authentic life. The four agreements are not just a set of four rules, four commandments, but a way of being in the world every single day. They are intended to help free ourselves from limiting disbeliefs and behavior to cultivate more love, joy, and harmony in our lives, relationships, and surroundings. How can the four agreements benefit your life? And everything in here is me creating questions to responses that I came up with after the book. Once again, Audible, I'm not a bookie. If you're a bookie, great. I like audiobooks. But by being impeccable with your word, you can communicate authentically and build trust with others. By not taking anything personally, you can free yourselves by the opinions and judgments of, of others. Meaning if you see somebody that you don't know and they're like, damn, you looking real ugly and raggedy today. Unless you're looking ugly and raggedy, then how could you possibly take that personally unless that statement that that person was saying about you is actually true? If you know for a fact you're not looking ugly and dusty and understanding the simple fact that hurt people hurt people and they will bleed on those who did not hurt them, 
then how could you possibly take anything personally? How could you go to work and have a bad day at work if your boss is yelling at you when your boss just got into a bad argument with his wife and you and your husband just went out to dinner and he dropped the kids off at school and the only thing you have to do is go to work? How could you possibly be affected by that person? Understand a job is a job. The world is not perfect. Every single day you're going to experience imperfection, but you will always be given a different outcome to whatever situation is put right then and there in front of you. By not making assumptions, you can clarify the misunderstandings and avoid unnecessary conflict. I know for a fact, I was one of those people who would call, 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 call the homies, call everybody. Hey, what's up? What you doing? What y'all got going on? Nothing. Oh, okay. What's up? Y'all trying to hang out? Oh, y'all can. Damn. And then I'll call two, three people and everybody's saying that. And then now I'm sitting here like, whoa, and nobody fucking with me. That's fucked up. Like, damn, what did I do wrong? Oh, nobody fucking with Dwayne. But it's like, in reality, that's me making an assumption that that person doesn't want to deal with me. Me manifesting emotions that doesn't actually exist right then and there in that moment. And me creating a conflict with that person based off an assumption manifest an emotion that doesn't exist and now i'm tripping off the homies because they don't live their own lives and have their own problems and have their own kids and have their own troubles and have their own shit they got to go through it's like damn that really fucked me up because i'm like you know what i definitely used to be somebody who used to make a whole fucking bunch of assumptions like damn how come y'all didn't invite me to that party it's like you'll begin to make assumptions because you feel everybody should act in a certain way, but in reality, nobody owes you an explanation for anything. So if you're dealing with somebody and they tell you, no, hey, it is what it is. The number one response that you should always have that helps you get through shit like that is life, life, life. Hey, you can't hang out life. Damn. Uh, we made plans two weeks ago. You telling me you don't want to fucking hang out five minutes later? Life. I don't give a fuck if you hanging out with your girl. I don't give a fuck if you about to get high and smoke and pass out. Life. You don't owe nobody an explanation for absolutely anything. So if you cancel plans last minute, life. If that person gets mad about you canceling your appointments, they're making assumptions that you owe them an explanation and now they're manifesting energy that there doesn't exist. And now y'all beefing because bitch, you weird and you hella flaky and fuck you. And it's like, OK, but I wanted to stay home. We really just want to play Mario Kart and fuck all night and get high. But I don't got to tell you that. No means no. It is what it is. Don't make assumptions. Nobody owes you an explanation. You don't owe anybody else an explanation. If plans get canceled, it is what it is. Also, by always doing your best, you can develop self-esteem, confidence, and create a certain sense of purpose and meaning. What does that mean? By doing your best, whether that means that you fucking sleep eight hours in the middle of the night and you go work a 10-hour shift, and then the next day you sleep four hours in the middle of the night, and you can only make it to a six hour shift. That doesn't mean that you have lack of energy. It also doesn't mean that you don't want to meet the task at hand. That just means that with the circumstances given, your absolute best only requires you to do this. If you're at a shitty job right here, right now, based on your circumstances, your absolute best situation is that job. It does not mean that that job is damn here where I'm going to stay for the rest of my life. Fuck, I'm gonna start a career. No, everything is a stepping stone. Being content is how you repent. If you understand your blessings, there's more to come, and your situation is as temporary as your emotions is that put you in that situation, then you can get out of there. Understand that doing your best will always be different levels of your absolute best. But as long as you stay consistent, you will live a meaningful life. Like, really, really think about it. And all four of these agreements is going to be hard. Like, really think about not making assumptions, doing your best, not taking anything personally and being impeccable with your word. All of those things are different 
agreements that you have to take into consideration every day on a daily basis. Just think about it. Think about it. I'm not preaching. I'm not pushing the book. If we hung out and this podcast did not exist and you was like, yo, Dwayne, I'm fucked up right now and I don't know what to do with myself. I would say all this right now. So don't think I'm sitting here trying to be fucking educational, informational. I love this book. It worked for me. If you was my homie in a situation, you were sitting here right next to me and we was, you know what I mean? I would tell you to read this book. So take that into consideration while transitioning through all my episodes that I'm just the homie that you need when you are in a situation of conversation. The four agreements offer a simple yet profound framework from transforming our lives and relationships. By embodying, by embodying these, I don't know why the fuck I type words I can't pronounce. By embodying these principles, we can break from the patterns of suffering and negativity that often dominate our thoughts and behaviors and create a more peaceful, joyful, and meaningful existence. What did I just say, y'all? If you can master not making assumptions, not taking anything personally, doing your best and being mindful with your word every day in your relationship at home and in your personal life. Promise you, I promise you, like I said, I ain't rich, but I'm finna be. And the only thing that our society has to go off is results. So as this podcast progress progresses, you will see that shit is really in motion. And the podcast is just me meeting that level. Okay, damn. I'm not a millionaire, but I made a couple of dollars. There's the game. I'm stepping up, make a couple of dollars. I'm dumping the game. That's it. I'm not trying to be a teacher, guru, follow me and all that shit. I got the game from doing my research. Here's the game. That's all I'm saying. What are some challenges to living by the four agreements? Uh, You guys might be thinking about that. Living the four agreements requires discipline, awareness, In constant practice, what did I just say? We may encounter resistance from our own egos and others who are unfamiliar with these principles. So your ego might be telling you, man, Dwayne don't know what he's talking about. Miguel Ruiz don't know what he's talking about. I can't do this shit. Yeah, we know. You're not supposed to conquer it in one week. It's going to take some time. But if you can confidently say that you have mastered trying to do your best, trying to be mindful with your word, all for the agreements, then you can't sit up here and tell me that your life and your perspective on everything around you has not changed. I'm not preaching. I'm just giving you some of the information and some of the game given in this book. Living by the four agreements is not always easy, but it is worth the effort. I promise it takes courage and humility to challenge ourselves and own assumptions and beliefs and to communicate with honesty and respect. However, the rewards of living the four agreements are immense, both for ourselves and both for those around us. You become nicer, you become lighter. Like, I haven't had a bad day in a long time. I'm not saying that shit is all the way sweet, but shit is real, real good. And honestly, it has everything to do with If you want everything around you, you got to change on how you look at everything around you. And until you read this book, you're not going to understand how real, real deep that meaning is. If you're not a book reader, smoke, throw an audio book, play some Fortnite, turn the volume down. Don't say, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, because in reality you can. And all the amount of time that you use to prolong something, you just sit in the same situation you was when you could have got up got some shit started, and got some shit cracked. And that's all I'm saying. How can we apply the four agreements to different areas in our lives? The four agreements can be applied in our personal relationship, in the workplace, in a spiritual place, and in our interactions with the world at large, all about you, all around you. So what does that mean? In my relationship, my wife could be mad at me, yelling at me, call just being mad and upset. I can assume that I did something and I'm the reason for her anger, or I can sit up here and just simply ask her, hey, what's going on with you? I can also go to my workplace and they can be like, hey, Jackson, you got a 10-hour shift going on, but I can assume 
that they're targeting me and I'm taking shit personally or I can make observation and look around and really understand, OK, I got 10 hours. This guy got 12. He has 11. That guy has 12. That guy has 13. So whatever situation I'm in, before I go through the roof and try to be fucking pissed off, I dissect the situation. If me and my wife are arguing before shit gets too crazy, stop, take a deep breath and think. Is this situation really worth my emotion? Not to say to downplay anybody's behavior just for me as an individual. Is it really worth me going that far? Nine times out of 10, it's not. You can recuperate, relax, chill the fuck out and get back to fucking eating each other's ass. But this has everything to do with practicing the four agreements in your relationship and the workplace and the spiritual place, meaning once you start doing your best, being thankful, being grateful, not making assumptions and not taking anything personally, I promise you, it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. Everybody lives their own life. They Nobody owes you an explanation. So always remember that. And by applying the four agreements in different areas of our lives, we can create a more harmonious and compassionate society. The world ain't perfect, but my slice of the world will be perfect. You don't have to live like somebody else's. You don't have to be as happy as somebody else's. As long as you're happy with who you are as an individual, I promise you the four agreements will really help push your perspective and just, you know, all around great person like, I, you can't explain blessings to somebody who hasn't gotten blessed. You can't explain the feeling of winning the lottery to somebody who ain't won the lottery. And I can't explain how life changing this book is until you sit down and read the book, sit down and audio book it. I wish I was getting paid by Audible right now and Miguel Ruiz right now, but I'm not. But I love the fucking book. I love Audible. It's just like, damn, this gives me the opportunity to have a conversation with somebody that I hence otherwise wouldn't have been able to have a conversation with. But the four agreements are not just individual principles, but universal ones as well. They can transform the way we relate to ourselves, others, and the world around us. By embodying these principles, we can become agents of positive change and contribute to a more peaceful world, whether we are at home, we are at work, we are in our communities, or we can make a difference by living the four agreements authentically, kindness, and compassion. That's all I have on the book. I don't want to spoil it for you too much. Again, the book is The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. And this book changed my life. Not entirely my life, but this book put me on the right aspect. I'm not going to be doing book reviews. This is just like my first book review. If the books that got me to this point of thinking about shit different, one to grind, creating generational wealth for me and my wife, still maintaining the blue collar job side until everything else succeeds that. Everything that I'm doing, I can give you guys all the books. I can send it to you on Audible. If you didn't know you pay like $15 a month, Audible gives you like a free book. To me, my opinion it's 100% worth it. And Miguel Ruiz's, all of his books are extremely great and philosophical and pushing that perspective. Again, I'm not getting paid. Again, I'm not doing book reviews. You might be scrolling through your timeline right now like, yo, what the fuck is Dwayne doing a book review? Yeah, I am. And I used to be the motherfucker that said, hey, uh, I don't read books. But when you grow up in the hood, you kind of understand that that was just something that was just honestly way too fucking normalized because the amount of information I learned from books while reading them is honestly blows me away how much information I can learn versus like from a Google search. So if you guys want to see me review more books that I read, you guys want like some authors. If this is the type of shit you want to see, let me know, subscribe, comment down below. If not, I won't waste my fucking time. I won't waste y'all time. I won't do it. I'll just end it here. This will be the first book review. 
that I really loved and I fucked with. And if y'all fuck with it, let me know. If y'all stay silent, I won't do it. You know how it is. Like and subscribe. Make sure to go to hydroaffirmations.com. Get you a fucking water bottle if you fuck with me. If you don't fuck with me, it's all right. Share the show. If you don't share the show, subscribe. If you do neither, you probably didn't even see this video. Have a great day. Stay hydrated. And once again, Pharrella is forever real, expressing love and logic artistically. If you love artwork, hit me up on Pharrella Galleria for all logos and digital imagery. Uh, check us out on hydroaffirmations.com. We got snowboard videos, giveaway videos, community videos, whole bunch of shit. It's just me and my wife and the crew that films the show. It's the same crew that filmed the commercial for it. PacificLightMedia.com. Check them out on Insta. Check out their website. And have a great day. And stay motherfucking hydrated. Yeah.